Hey, everybody. What do mean boards, tongue twisters, see sh No! She missed the first word. And elbow paintbrushes have in common? Ugh. What is happening? Hey, um, torch. Oh, it does look like a torch. <laughs> Nothing, except they're all a part of this podcast. The, the Lego, Lego Friends, Friends podcast. podcast! Presented by Lego Friends. Welcome to the Lego Friends Podcast with my friend and yours, the one and the only, Karis Rogers. Hey, that's me. Don't forget my friend and new podcast co-host, but the Melissa Us <laughs> voice. <laughs> Thank you. I don't really know what that word means, but thank you. Okay, it means sweetly sounding. I like it because to me, the word itself is also, well, mellifluous. I've heard you learn something new every day, so. <laughs> we explore the latest and greatest from Lego Friends and let it inspire honest conversations and hilarious games. That's right, and today's podcast theme is Explore It All. From exploring yourself to exploring the world to the whole universe. Today's episode is inspired by three Lego Friends sets Stephanie's Sailing Adventure, Emma's Art School, and we start with. Olivia Space Academy. A big part of growing as people and as friends is challenging ourselves to explore the unknown. Like Olivia, part of what helps us explore is getting out of our comfort zones. Is there like a super memorable time that you push yourself out of your comfort zone? Ooh, I feel like every day I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone, no matter what it is. Presley's actually made me step out of my comfort zone before. We had a dinner, right? <laughs> and so there was like this bread. Well, I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> I'm like, this don't look too pleasant, like, I don't know what this is. That was the best bread I've ever had in my life. Like, the sauce and like the bread it like burst so in good. your mouth. No, like, it, it was so good. And yeah. I forced her to try it and she loved it. Is there a memorable time that you learned something new? Like with dancing? Cause I know you a dancer girl, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like with dance, once quarantine hit, I really pushed myself to try new things on my own with dance because mm -hmm. it would mostly be like in the classroom with a teacher that I would be yeah. trying new things but I think when I had no other option than to do it on my own that definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone to try new things. I wish I could dance. Presley you should definitely teach me how to like twirl and spin and jump <laughs> one day. What about right now? Oh girl. <laughs> oh come on. Okay. Okay. I'll teach you how to do a basic pirouette. What is that? A spin. <laughs> okay. A spin. Okay, put your feet like this. You're gonna put your foot out, arms here. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, Karis. <laughs> Karis, we didn't even do the spin yet. <laughs> From the top, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Passe. You bring your foot, your toe is gonna meet your knee right here, like this. And your arms are gonna go here. This is first position. From your, just practice going to that position from here. Ready? One, two, three. That was fun! Ah! Okay, well, you still have one more step. Oh, God. You're gonna spin. <laughs> you're gonna go this way. One, two, three, four, and then you're gonna turn. Okay, wait, that was not, not bad, not bad. All right, put it all together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven! Finish it! I finished the it. The most important thing in dance is your beginning and your okay, ending. I definitely need more lessons. All right, we'll be having <laughs> weekly dance lessons with Presley. That sound means it's time for a challenge. Woo! We're gonna play a game with some of the funniest, most memorable moments from the latest Heart Like Stories Lego Friends special. Memorable? We have to remember where the memes are on the game board to match them up. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Like memory. Yeah, but memes. Lego friends memory. Got got it. Okay, I got it. Karis, why don't you kick us off? Um, I'm going to say eight. Oh, oh. We'll send. <laughs> Two. Ah. Alright, so I'm gonna go with three. Oh! Three and eight. <laughs> Where is Andrea falling to? <laughs> it looked like she was going into like, I don't know, like a hole. Oh, she's adventurous. Yeah, she's definitely adventurous. She is not afraid to take risks. At all. As she should. Four. The <gasps> <gasps> poor dog. It, it was the dog's reaction for me. <laughs> I'm gonna say six. No! Seven. Dogs have 320 bones depending on the length of the tail. 
fascinating. Oh, she's talking fast. <laughs> I'm gonna say one. Dogs have 320 bones. Oh! Why are we trying to say it as fast as her? Dogs have 320 bones depending, depending on the length of the, the tail. <laughs> um, I'm going to say two and six. <laughs> and then four and five. <laughs> I got it. I won. Technically. I lost. Yeah, I, I lost. lost. Part of exploring the unknown is learning from the new experiences we have. You learned a new word today. I did. Mellifluous. 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 Right, there you go. There we go. Look, she learned something new. Have you met any people like through your art? Yes, I have, and everyone's way older than me. I went to New York Fashion Week before. I became the youngest designer to ever showcase New York Fashion Week. Girl, when I tell you, everyone's like so much older than me, and I'm sitting there like I feel out of place. I was just like, okay, I need friends. I'm not gonna sit here lonely. I cannot do that. I am not a lonely girl. I've definitely met so many people, and I've inspired so many other young boys and girls to do the exact same thing that I'm doing, basically paving a way for them. You're doing the same thing with dance. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've met so many people, especially through dancing. Like I feel like I have friends all over the country, all over the world, because I meet them like everywhere that I go. And mm -hmm. I think that that's such a cool thing to have people that are doing exactly what you're doing, but like in so many different places. So how does it feel when you are creating your art? When I'm creating my art, it feels amazing. Yeah. We're having an idea in your head for so long and then you finally get to see it all come mm -hmm. together in the end. It's, I feel like that's the best feeling It's ever. really rewarding. I know. I think like when I first launched my clothing line, mm -hmm. getting to see other people wear it, is so cool because then you get to see like how they bring their unique style to mm. pieces that you created. I literally did wear your shirt yesterday. No way. Presented by Lego Friends. Time for another game. In this game, we're going to take turns tackling troubling tongue twisters. Ooh, that was good. Okay, let me try. In this game, we're gonna take turns tackling troubling tongue twisters. We are so ready. We are so ready. And what is this game called? Say, Say me not. <laughs> An unoccupied, octopi, eyed, unoccupied. Dang it, no! An unoccupied, octopi, eyed, an unoccupied, octopi ride. An unoccupied, octopi ride. Ask the unoccupied, octopi. Why is the unoccupied, octopi ride unoccupied? That Period. was so good! Oh, no one had faith in me but me. I did that. You really did that. Press, so you gotta go faster next time. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> She sells seashells on the seashore. Well, she did, but she shall not anymore. Now she shall sell her seashore shells and sea sales and confesses she surely shall see seashells and seashell no, sales. No, you not sell. Oh, you she messed up already. <laughs> she messed the first word. Okay, my turn. <laughs> she sells seashells on the seashore. Well, she did, but she shall not anymore. Now she shall. Sell her seashell. Ah! She sells seashells on the seashore. Well, she shall not anymore. Huh? No! Okay, I got this. I got this. She sells seashells on the seashore. Well, she did, but she shall not anymore. Now she shall sell her seashore shells in sea cells. Mm -hmm. I said sales. No, sales. I said sales. I was like sales. Fine, keep going. She surely shall sell seashells and seashell sales with more successes. Her. That was Her. Good. That was good. That was good. Got good. this. Our poor imports portraits of. Our poor imports portraits of porpoises. Our poor imports. Portraits, uh, exports. Exports. Oh. Our port imports portraits of porpoises. Our port exports portraits by tortoises. But what poor port sorts portraits of porpoises by tortoises? Our port imports portraits of porpoises. Our port exports portraits by tortoises. But what poor port sorts portraits of porpoises by tortoises? Ooh, my hat. I said we both get a point because okay, we both get a point. I did good too. <laughs> I won. Congratulations from Stephanie and friends. And friends, thank you. That certainly got me out of my comfort zone. For sure, but exploring isn't just about doing new things or what's around us. One way we can express what we find is through art, like Emma in her art school. Is there any type of art you wanted to try yet? 
size dance. I love painting. I really love painting and Ooh. I don't do it a lot and I definitely feel like I should. Mm -hmm. I used to be super into like sketching and drawing mm -hmm. um, a couple years ago. I had like a sketchbook and everything. Oh, I love to trace. I can't draw, but I can trace. And I, I draw trace. something, I would like trace it, you know, boom. I can draw a heart, star, you know, cool, cool, cool. But now like the stars that go like this, I can draw like the, this, this, this one. one. Yeah, me yeah, too. That's all I can do. <laughs> I usually do that and then like erase the middle. Oh, that's smart. I could stay in the lines. That's good. What does it mean for your art to be popular? The most important thing is that you love it and mm -hmm. that you're doing it because you love it. I love when people like, talk about my art. I feel like <laughs> I'm doing something right. Like, well, yeah, definitely. I feel like I've met most of my friends through my art. Like, I feel like we met together yeah. through our art, technically, which is really cool to be able to be inspired by other people that are doing the same thing. Because you me. inspire me. You inspire me, too. <laughs> it's just a really special thing to be able to, like, share your accomplishments and your experiences with, like, your friends together. I love that. That's how means it's time for another challenge. Yay! Our last one today. Boo. But it's messy. Yay! <laughs> That's been a roller coaster of emotions. To the canvases. Woo! I have a feeling this is inspired by Emma and her art school. Human paintbrushes! We will trade off painting our friends up here by each picking two cards. One will tell us what to paint, and one will tell us how to paint it. Presley will kick us off, and our time starts now. Care so much. Okay, I'm not looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Paint with my left elbow. Got it. <laughs> Are you get okay? Down. I can't get down. Okay. <laughs> Is that a t-shirt? No. Okay, it's a dress. Yes! It's a dress. Yes, 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 yes. Don't look, Presley. I'm not looking. Okay. Glove brush. Okay. <gasps> that looks like mustard. <laughs> this is on <gasps> Ketchup and mustard. No. <laughs> <laughs> sweater. A sweater. No. A snowman. <laughs> a a life jacket. Presley, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Safari gear. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what are you? I have to mix a color, okay? Presley. <laughs> Hair. No. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh, spoke too soon. What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm trying to make another color, Karen. <laughs> okay. Okay. A crown. A cat. Close, very close. The uh, tiger hat. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right elbow. Right elbow, oh, okay. Go, go, go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, halo. Hat, sun hat, sun hat. <laughs> Bumblebee, <laughs> Bu bee hat. Beekeeper! Sun hat, beekeeper. That is not a space helmet, is it? <laughs> that does not look like that. Yes, it does. Compare and contrast, guys. I like this. Pig with my knee? Oh, no. Mine looks a hot mess. Okay, what knee does it say? <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Is it? I'm getting there. <laughs> I feel like Hold I know on. what you're. Hold up. <laughs> I need to take the painting Give me a down. sec. Give me a sec. Oh. A guitar. Yes. Yes. Oh my okay. God. Yes. Okay. Yes. I go to the blue. <laughs> Chocolate. Girl. Not <laughs> even finish. A sword. A. A um torch. Oh, it does look like a torch. <laughs> Is it not a torch? <laughs> All right, I give up. I have no idea what that is. There's a paintbrush. <laughs> I thought I did. 
did that good. Does not I thought like that that was the best that I've done. Here, Karis. I made this just for you. Aw, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Aw, a smiley face. I am very impressed that you could draw with your elbows, your hands, and, thank you very much. and your head. That's how it means it's time to wrap up and wash off. We can't wait to see you again on the next Lego, Lego Friends Podcast. Podcast. Bye. Presented by Lego Friends. I'm back. I couldn't leave before letting you know about the audio version of this podcast. It has more games, stories, and overall silliness with me and Presley. Just look for Nickelodeon Lego Friends Podcast wherever you listen to your podcast and check it out.